How'd you get the keys to this place? My mom refs the owner. Some old guy. He owns like 100 places he's never even seen. Looks like no one's touched it for years. Damn it. That's my direct and I. Where did you find these people? I don't know. <laughs> Place an ad, dressed them up. No big deal. That was the assignment. Mm, the idea of ghost watching us turns me on. Yeah. How about we, uh... Shh. Shut up and kiss me. What's wrong? <gasps> you gotta quit doing that. I'm sorry, Brad. You think I really like things getting stuck in my throat? Shut up and kiss me. Jesus, that could have killed us. <laughs> you folks are trespassing, ain't you? Ain't no difference. Lots of folks come in here because they're curious. Who are you? I'm the caretaker of this here house. Great job. Y'all don't mind. I got some cleaning up to do down in the basement. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey, wait a minute. Nobody lives here. Brad, let's go. Don't let it fool you. <laughs> Needs a lot of work. That's how come the fair price. It's incredible. It's, it's like a time capsule from another age. Mm. Well, you being a writer, you'll uh, like the solitude. And if you're handy with a wrench, you can fix the plumbing yourself. Save yourself a dime. <laughs> you know, for inspiration. I'm gonna go out back and check the fuse box, make sure we have enough replacements. What's down there? Oh, uh, the basement's unfinished. I wouldn't recommend spending much time down there, though, unless you like, um, <clears throat> you know, uh, Goddamn bugs. Chill in here makes my joints stiff. Would you mind? It's for my daughter, Eva. Sure. 
You know what your next book's gonna be about? Um, no. Maybe I'll find out here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What was that? What, what was what? I just, I just saw the curtain move. Oh, well, it's like I say, it's probably just loose window panes letting the draft through. Don't say I didn't warn you. Listen, I'm calling in a full investigation if we don't find her up there. <sighs> Two massive checks from the publisher, and you think she's just taking time off. You don't know my sister. Hey, nobody, no, nobody leaves money untouched unless something happened to them, okay? You don't go against human nature. No email, no phone, n Wait, what time is it? Get Fleischman for me. What was that? What was what? Something just flashed back there. Nobody drives up here anymore. Not since the new highway was built. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Gladstein. Can't get signal up here. Stubborn old bastard. If he'd allowed me to get him a living helper, it wouldn't have taken so long to find out he was missing. I wouldn't worry. Sure, if his car broke down, my sister offered him the guest room for a few days until we got to a phone. Very sweet. There it was again. You're right. If someone's following us. Can't this damn thing go any faster? You know, if this is where she's been hiding for the last year, I bet they sure didn't want me to find her. Us. Doesn't look like anybody's been here at all. No lights. That's not good. Do you have the key to this? The office, uh, they gave me a key to the house, but they didn't see anything at the gate. What happened? Snick my finger. Whoa, somebody called the paramedics. I have hemophilia. I'm not supposed to cut myself. Now, yeah, what's that? Low blood sugar? His blood doesn't clot properly. It means if he bleeds, he keeps bleeding. Oh. oh very interesting. You got a tire iron in the car? We'll pry it open. Yeah. Is it bad? Oh, it's not. I have some gauze in my bag. But slow down! Do you always carry around a first aid kit with you? Old habit. My parents used to put band-aids in my lunch bags. Trade you my bologna sandwich. <laughs> Got it. We all good, Red. You almost just hit that girl. She was standing in the middle of the road. What are you doing here? You know you're not supposed to be within 200 yards of my sister. This ain't your business, punk. Step aside. You better not get him angry. He's mean when he's angry. What the hell is she doing with all her money? Why over there? It's a hazard. One of my men got fried for me, that's why I like that. <gasps> Rip, what was that? There's something out there. Where? It's out there. Just wait. Oh my god, there it is again. What is that? 
Are there dogs out here? She's got this thing with dogs. They could smell her from a mile away. Shut up, Brent. Samantha? I can't see anything in here. Shh, Dad? Are you here? Spiders. Looks like a dead end, bro. She's got to be here. They said the fuses might be out. Crazy lady. She wasn't crazy when I married her, baby. Oh, you're such an ass. Oh, oh. Hey. Uh, don't uh, don't wander off by yourself, okay? I'm I'm responsible for you. I'm fine. You think I want to lose the best assistant I ever had? Of course not. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm gonna go see if, if, if Eva needs any help. Oh, good, good, uh, good idea. I was gonna tell you to do that. It's still got oil in it. Yeah. You're pretty quick with the matches. I have to be. Oh my god. This is hers. And I recognize the writing. Your sister's? Yeah. This is gonna be our next book. It's gonna be even more twisted than the last one. Jeez. Fiona! Fiona! Hiding from your boss? I was hoping he wouldn't notice. What is it? Samantha. Samantha, can you hear me? Sammy, it's me. It's Anthony, your brother. I think she's in some sort of shock. I'll go get some water. Samantha! Hey, it's me. <laughs> Boy, you, uh, you really had us all scared there. Um, listen to me, Samantha. Intrascope pictures once by the writers to your book. Okay, right. Martin. They're, they're impatient for an answer. All you gotta do is sign here, and we can practically buy our own island just like we used to talk about. So just sign. Morty, you can wait. Let me talk to her. Hey, baby. It's me. I came to get you out of here. It's been too long. I'm sorry about the thing with the flat tires. Really, it was Freddy's idea, but I promise I'll pay for all that. Come on, Rhett. Tell her you want to get those paper signed so we can go. Shut up, Suzette. It's between me and my wife. Who's soon going to be your ex-wife as soon as you get your half of the money? I said shut up, Suzette. You're not going to fall for this act, are you? She's just trying to get your sympathy. She's just faking it because she's afraid I'm gonna take away her husband. Isn't that right, honey? 
She just spit in my face. Aren't you gonna do something? She just humiliated me in front of all of these people. Give me the keys. Suzette. Give me the keys! I'm leaving. Well, are you coming or not? Oh, yeah? Why not? Because she won't let you. She won't? You'll die before you get past the gate. Oh, man, I knew she was losing it. Isn't if you that... don't believe me, go ahead. See how far you get. But one word of advice, don't let her see what you're afraid of. Okay, Rhett, you can either stay here married to crazy lady, or you can come with me. Son of a bitch. Rhett, don't. You can't go out there. I said I hated you, but not this much. I gotta go. Rhett! Suzette, wait! <laughs> Anthony, listen to me. None of you should have come here. What are you doing? You think we came all the way out here just to run off in a huff? No! We're gonna get the goddamn paper signed. No, no, Rebecca, just do it another time! Please! Please, Red! Do it with what? that gate! told you, she won't let us leave. Annalisa died over a hundred years ago in this very house. Her father was a cruel reverend who had it built with the use of slaves from the Caribbean, many of whose bones are still buried below. The townspeople being superstitious stayed away and the loneliness of the desert soon took its toll on his wife. She went insane and committed suicide. Only after her death did he find her love letters to another man. So overcome with rage and jealousy, he condemned his own daughter, Annalisa, for sharing her mother's sinful blood. He locked Annalisa in the basement, telling her that the world outside was a terrible place. The coming inventions at the time, the telephone, the automobile, 
electricity. We're all the work of the devil. He convinced Annalisa that the only way for her to save her mortal soul was to never leave the house again. But the caretaker of the house, Mondrik, a servant of Nigerian descent, took pity on the girl and would sneak down to the basement as often as he could to keep her company, to read her stories, bring her nourishing food. But on the night he planned to help Annalisa escape, Reverend Sevick was waiting for him. With the help of two of his men, he had Mundrig strung up and burned alive in front of Annalise's own eyes. And that is when the curse began. The Reverend was stricken with polio and confined to a wheelchair for the rest of his life. Father and daughter never left the house again. No one had the courage to come out to the house until 25 years later when the old man Jermanger recovered. But Annalisa was never found. Don't touch it. You saw what happened to Rhett and his little scamp. Their own fear killed them. What if you don't know what you're afraid of? Then you'd better figure it out before it's too late. I got something. <laughs> I got, I got something. Hello, hello, yeah, uh, police? Okay, hi. My name is Morty Gladstein, and I'm stuck in a house, and I need, I, I said I'm stuck in a house. What's the address here? 23708 Canyon Crest Drive. 23708 Canyon Crest Drive. Okay, you got that? Hello? Hello? I lost the signal. She won't let anyone help you. Even if someone came, what can they do? They would only become trapped as well. Why don't you have a freaking phone here? Ziggler and I have been trying to reach you for almost a year and yet you insist on being out of touch. Now, I, I am telling you, Samantha, you're gonna blow this deal, okay? Millions of dollars down the freaking tubes because you want some peace and quiet! That's enough! Morty! We, we just gotta figure out a way to get back to the car. Come on, you guys. But you don't believe that idiotic ghost story, do you? I mean, Samantha can cook up a hell of a creepy yarn, but I mean, come on, coincidence, okay? All right, okay, okay, okay. So, right, there's a, a loose wire outside. Certainly we can find a way to tie it up. And that dog, well, if we just all go out together, then we can take that miserable mutt on, right? Why not? Oh, this can't be happening. Is everyone afraid to go outside now? Okay, tell you what. Tell you what, I'll be the first to go out there and then uh, you'll see. Sure, it's out here? Yeah, it's right there. Oh. I can't bring myself to look out there. There's nothing to see. It's really dark. Yeah. 
That's what scares me. Did you find it? Over here. You know, I just don't understand how there'd be power if that line was severed out front. Well, the house has been rewired several times. Who knows what works and what doesn't? Bubble boy. Can't afford to keep cutting yourself like that. I'm gonna go take care of this. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. There's no food here. What have you been eating? You like him, don't you? Who? Oh, you know who I mean. He may seem caring and sensitive on the outside but he's got a lot of anger on the inside. His little sister became the famous writer of the family, leaving no room for him to spread his wings. That's why his condition's getting worse. He bleeds so easily these days because it's the only way for his body to release all the pain inside of him. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. It's okay, just, just a little tense, that's all. You cut yourself again. Yeah. Mm. I have to stop meeting under these circumstances, huh? Right. You come to old, scary houses possessed by evil spirits often. It's my first, actually. I usually go to graveyards, but that seems kind of dead now anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a writer. Would my sister tell you that? No, I, I stopped writing for fun years ago. No, it's just... So now you just write for the misery? <laughs> well, I write for the Chronicle. At least you know what you're good at. I don't even know what I'm doing in this stupid job. I admire anyone who can create something out of nothing. There's the water man. All right. Is it stuck? <laughs> you have to concentrate. On what? On not being afraid. I'm not scared. Well, they turned the water on. Oh, he forgot to hit the main. Did it work? Is the water running? Maybe you overdid it. What was that? Samantha, is there somebody else in the house with you? Dad? It's my father. He's up there. I know it. Okay, that's it. I'm going upstairs. Who's coming with me? Don't look at me. I mean, sure, let's 
Let's go. I'm going. I have to see if he's up there. Hey, Fiona, do you mind staying down here with my sister? Good idea. Fiona, stay down here with my client. Why so nervous? My home is your home. Maybe you better stay back a little. What's the matter? I was just thinking about what she said. I mean, do you know what your worst fear is? Yeah, uh, spending years smoothing and sculpting one of the most promising talents that I've seen in my career, and then losing her to a bout of delusional psychosis in some freaky old house. I mean, primal fear. A fear that you've carried with you since you were a child. Like if I uh, stepped on a crack and broke my mama's back, right? What the hell are you asking me this for, anyway? That's what scares me. A bucket of nails? A thousand different ways to cut myself. They'd never have me patched up before I bled to death. Right, 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 right. Homophilia. Hemophilia. Yeah, 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 whatever. Just don't get it on me. It's not contagious. Whatever's going on in your sister's head is. Why did you do it? Dad? We asked you to give your baby sister a bath <laughs> and you no. drowned her. Daddy, please! Your sister's paying for my dry cleaning bills, I'll tell you that much. Whatever it is they're trying to find up there, it's going to find them first. Why is the basement door all boarded up? She's watching us. Everything we do, everything we think. <sighs> It's OK. 
Okay, Eva. It's not your fault. I don't blame you. Why are you afraid of Fiona? Afraid of fire, maybe? I'm good at these things. Why don't you tell me about it? Wait. Don't tell me. There was an accident. You were young. Just a little girl. Your family's house burned down, didn't it? They almost lost their little girl in the fire. But you were saved the last minute by a fireman. Oh, that must have been horrible. I bet you vowed never to play with fire again. Oh, but you've probably gotten over your childhood fears by now. You're closer, you can do Put it. it out! Come on. Better do it quickly. That's it. What happened? Your girlfriend saved the day. No thanks to you. Where's Eva? She's still upstairs. She's fine. Women are in bathrooms. Jesus. You better stay down here with us where it's safe. Samantha. I think it's time we had a real hard to hard talk here. You know, I've always let you do what you want. Where are you going? Come on, I'm talking to you. Do you know how to do that? Not really. You? Go for it. Thank you. There's a presence here. There's something here. It knows. It knows who I am. Everything I've tried to hide. Let's get you into 
with some dry clothes. Samantha? Sam. How about this? Mm -hmm. I never told anyone, ever. When I was nine, I drowned my baby sister in the bathtub. It was an accident. At least, that's what I still tell myself to this day. But ever since then, I've been horrified of water. I couldn't think of a worse way to die. Um, maybe we better just let her pick it out for herself. Eva, promise me you won't go near the bathroom, okay? She's right. There's something in this house. And at first I just thought they were freak accidents. You know, nothing supernatural, right? A loose wire, rabbit dog, or whatever that thing was. All explainable phenomena. scientific journals that if a person smells a certain smell that matches with their chemical makeup like oranges or rancid meat they're three times more likely to have a psychosomatic delusion <laughs> there's no one trying to kill us it's what's in our head that's dangerous You saved her. She owes you her life. She doesn't owe me anything. I'd have done the same for you. So does that mean I'll have to drown myself in the bathtub too? We can think of another way.
Maybe we should go check on Samantha and Morty. down there. I asked her why it was all boarded up and she started acting really strange. Did you hear that? Hello? Is someone down there? Just hang out. We're going to get you out of there. Let's get these boards off. Anthony, who are you talking to? Wait, you didn't hear her? There's someone down there, I swear. Mr. Gladstein. What's the matter? Don't you want me? You think I don't see the way you look at me? Undressing me with your eyes when no one's watching. But you never say anything. Are you afraid of me? Are you afraid to touch me? No. Then kiss me. mind, remember? Down there, did he? He's not supposed to go down there. You. It's all you, isn't it? You're the curse. Get away from her. She's not real. There's some kind of freaking ghost. Marjorie! Huh? Put that down. Shut up. If you're not flesh and blood. This won't even hurt you. Right? Morty, stop! I'm gonna kill you! Morty, stop! Stop! Get off me! Shit! See what happens? We start getting carried away with our paranoia. We turn on each other. We need to get a hold of ourselves if we're gonna last the night here. So what are we supposed to do now? Nothing. Nothing. That's exactly it. We just stay here. And we don't do anything you mean like until the sun comes up <laughs> what's the sun got to do with it i don't know isn't that how it usually works in horror movies
Anthony. Don't turn around. I wasn't sure you felt this way. God, you're beautiful. I've been dreaming of this since I met you. Give it a try. I mean, you don't want to be stuck on the couch. Yeah, it looks good on you. Where does this go? Give me that, that's mine! No, no, I know where this goes, Samantha. No, Anthony, no! Ow! Oh no, are you okay? Yeah. Where's Samantha? Okay. Look, you go downstairs, I'm gonna go upstairs. If you find her, don't let her get away. Eva's father.
I didn't do it. I didn't do it, Anthony. Anthony, wait. Please don't do this. I can explain. It wasn't my fault. What's going on? If you didn't do anything wrong, then why didn't you call the police? You don't understand, Anthony. Anyone who comes up here. I mean, anyone. I couldn't be responsible for any more deaths. <clears throat> I said, what's going on? Yet you let us all come up here. I didn't want any one of you to come up here. But you couldn't leave me alone, could you? But the hell is going on? She's a danger to herself and us. Anthony. What? Why are you tying her up? I'll explain later. What is it? You have to see this. The photos? They're not real. She made her up. You made her up. There was no Annalisa. It was all a big lie. An elaborate hoax made up by her. And we believe believed it. Anthony was right. You want our fear to get to us. Turn people against each other for inspiration? Why? Is that how you write your novels? Annalisa is real. Look at the family tree. But her name isn't here. They left it all. To mention her name was the same as a curse. But I'll tell you whose names are there. Look at the bottom. Virginia and Richard. Our grandparents? Samantha, where did you find this? Public records. Did you really think I picked this house on accident? No, oh, Anthony. This is our great, great uncle's house. Reverend Reginald Severick. This is our inheritance, Anthony. She called me up to this house. She wants me to tell her story. She knows that I have the power to tell millions. No. Annalisa never existed. I know you, Samantha. I know what you've done. I'm your brother. Come on, I know where you were 10 years ago. Do you remember your teacher, Mr. Jacobson? You'll never forget. Whatever he did to you that day, you made me swear not to tell mom and dad. I buried your unborn child in the backyard. Me! I flunked out of high school while you became their perfect little darling. I've carried this guilt with me, tormenting me all this time. But you, oh, you've just put it into your work. But you know what? If you had had that baby girl, and she was still alive today, she would be as old as this little girl in this picture, right? Isn't that right? Here he goes again. He's jealous of my gift. She's good at making everyone believe what she believes. No. And Lisa is real. I hear her now. She's talking to me.
Don't cry. Who's there? Don't cry. It's going to be all right. Did you come down to sing songs with me? I learned the song you taught me. Want to hear it? Okay, Morty, you can come out now. Morty? That's his cell phone. He's not answering. What do we do? We have to answer it. No. You'd cut yourself with this. What happened up there? Tell me. <laughs> Please. Please don't. Morty! It's the phone! God damn it. You know something, Anthony? Sometimes I feel like the, the unluckiest girl in the world. Why do you say that? Because every time I meet a guy, like, something always seems to get in. Fiona, help me out here. Hello? Hello? Hello. Did you come down to play a game with me? Who is this? <laughs> Who was it? Wrong number. <laughs> I know what it is now, my worst fear. When I was nine, my older brothers shoved me in their underground tunnel. They trapped me down there while they stomped on top. And dirt and mud just crashing in on me. It took them 15 minutes to find me in and dig me out. Don't leave me there. Oh. Let's get him out. Oh, God. Don't leave. Don't leave yet. I thought you came down to play a game with me. She's not real. She's right there. You see her, don't you? Who are you? What's your name? My name is... My name is... I'm whoever you want me to be. Are you Annalisa? Did you come down to sing a song with me? I can teach you the words. 
That sounds like fun. First, can you tell me why you're here? Do you have something you want to tell us? Do you want me to be someone else? What are you afraid of? Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> Let's go. Are you there? We won't run away, I promise. It's because we ran away. That's what kills us when we run away. I'm not afraid, little girl. I won't run away. Oh. It's crazy running the family. Where's Morty? He left. He left. I wouldn't try to look for him. I don't think he got very far. Eva. Hello, Eva. Why don't you ever visit me anymore? God damn it, not again. not tell you it. You. You. You killed him! You killed my father! do that. I still want to listen to that little girl now. <sighs> I'm 
There's only one way we're gonna get out of here. Burn this goddamn house down. But if we don't get out in time, we'll burn alive. I'm not afraid anymore, Anthony. Okay, let's do it. No, no, you'll kill all of us! Careful. How many of you have left? Two. No wind in here. Try another match. There's gas, but no igniter. Let's get the match. You ready? You can't burn it down! My greatest work is in this house! It is this house! No! Go out! I won't let you take it away from me! Bring your lunchbox. I think I'm gonna need all the bandages you got. Anthony, I'm sorry, my friend. I'm so sorry. It's all my fault. Shut up, Sam. Fiona, what are you waiting for? Let's torch this place. Yes. Burn it all down. Medium or well done. What? If we get out of this, I want to take you out to steak dinner. I'm ready. Let's do this. What do we do now? It's not over, Anthony. We can still get you out of here, get to, get to a hospital, okay? Okay? 
Okay, I don't care what happens to me. We just... just hold on. Responsible of you to leave. You brought the curse upon yourself. You can't run away. The curse is on you. The curse is on you. The spirits will rise up to avenge the suffering of the helpless. Daya, daya, rele, daya. Papa, u, kulevo, kulev. Kulevo, mape, rele, kulevo. Kere, demo. Daya, ke, 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 daya, varo, sambi. Senator Severick, for more than a hundred years, you have lived free from the curse that has plagued my family. Now it is your turn. Master Severick will be pleased to know that the house is in good hands. Sergeant Gonzalez, I still don't think that you fully appreciate the historical significance of this house. If I may reiterate... Listen, uh, Mr. Hollander. A lot of families moving into the area here. So unless you get the ordinance that can change this place into some kind of historic landmark, the county's going to move in here, declare this site a public hazard, and mow the whole thing down. Yeah, realize, sir. So you see the fight last night? That De Cabrera boy, he took such a beat. Looks like he's been having too many chimichangas. Hey, didn't you guys see what happened in there? I hope they tear this place They're down. dead! They're dead! Samantha chose this house because of its relation to our ancestors. Something compelled her to make amends for a forgotten crime we never knew. To tell the story of Reverend Severick and his murdered servant, Mondrick. But there is one thing I may never understand. The Reverend never had a daughter. Samantha created Annalisa to make amends for some lost part of herself. And the house gave her the power to make us see what she believed. I will never know whether the curse began with Mondrique 
or whether it began generations before him. Unless... Unless I'm able to listen. To listen to the voices within these walls. This is a good idea. Relax, baby. The place is ours all night long. <laughs> yeah, but it's creepy. My mom would be so pissed if she knew where I was. <laughs> That's what turns you on so much, doesn't it? Chester? You're trespassing. Who the hell are you? I'm the caretaker of this house. No one lives here. Get the fuck out of here, you goddamn hobo. I'll kick your fucking ass. Chester, let's just go. Yes. I suppose you should try and leave. But it didn't work out too well for my friends. What the hell's that supposed to mean? Taya, Taya, really, Taya, que boniba. Taya, ka, 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 Taya, poro, zombie. Not long from now and no one's gonna stop it Cause I'll burn 